Celebrity marriages are already hard enough, but when it comes to reality TV couples, divorce is something almost that seems inevitable because at this point there have been dozens of them. So today we're breaking down celeb couples who got divorced after starring on reality TV shows right here on Listed. It can't be easy on a relationship to have reality cameras recording your every move from petty fights to deep personal struggles. So it's sadly no surprise that a lot of marriages in Hollywood crack under that kind of pressure. And while we've all rooted for many of these reality couples to stay together for the long haul, they might have been doomed from the moment they signed their privacy away. Up first is the newlywed couple that had to call it quits after they couldn't decide the difference between chicken or fish or something like that. It's Nick Lachey and Jessica Simpson who stole our hearts with their MTV reality show Newlyweds, Nick and Jessica. With this ring. I do wed. Until death to us. The beautiful young couple probably weren't expecting their show to exploit the many differences in their personalities, but that's exactly what happened when the camera caught numerous petty fights between the pair that eventually proved that while opposites may attract, they don't always create a long-lasting marriage. Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? I know it's tuna, but it, it says chicken by the sea. <laughs> so stupid. Sadly, Nick and Jess divorced in 2005, just three years after their lavish 2002 televised wedding. They've both since remarried and started families with their new spouses, and they've both made sure to keep those relationships far away from the reality cameras, probably for the best. Next up is the Kardashian divorce that was drawn out longer than anyone expected between Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom. Until death do us part. I promise you, I'll never leave you. No matter what. No matter what. The pair seemed super loved up on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, and even though their courtship was crazy fast, with the couple getting married just one month after dating, they seemed very convinced that they had found the one. Obviously, as we've seen since that September 2009 wedding, things didn't turn out the way they expected because many of Lamar's personal struggles with substance abuse and cheating ended up tearing them apart. I I'm, I'm get emotional about it every day, so to even try and think about dating anyone makes me really uncomfortable. Lamar definitely hit rock bottom after Chloe filed for divorce and he was later found unconscious in a brothel in 2015. Everyone remember that? Despite their separation, Chloe stuck by his side and helped her estranged husband recover from his ordeal. Chloe later refiled for divorce from Lamar in May of this year, but the pair continue to remain friends despite the official split. Up next, we're still keeping up with the Kardashian divorces, this one being Kim's 72 day marriage to NBA player Chris Humphreys that ended in divorce in October 2011. And my wife is walking down the aisle. Kim got a lot of slack for her 72 day marriage with many criticizing her for marrying Humphreys on the reality show simply for publicity and the $2 million paycheck. Kim went on numerous talk shows to defend herself, including Oprah, saying that that was not the case. And it didn't take long for Kim to find love with longtime friend Kanye West shortly after in 2012. Hopefully she and Kanye finally broke the Kardashian on air wedding curse. Who knows, only time will tell. Next up is what was probably the most shocking divorce that came out of the Kardashians reality show with the surprise split of Chris and Bruce Jenner. I with this ring. I with this ring. Promise to love you. Promise to love you. It was only after his divorce to Chris that Bruce revealed that he was transgender, changing his name to Caitlyn. Caitlyn fully embraced and accepted her true self and got the support of the entire family, including Chris, in the months that followed her transition. I just want to get to a place where it's comfortable for us to, to share celebrations together. That's great. Let's move on. Though Chris seemed upset about the situation at first, the pair are now friends and amicably attend family events together. And Kate was also given her very own reality show spinoff called I Am Kate. Up next, it was a marriage that was chaotic from the beginning. Yup, you guessed it, we're flashing it back to when Britney Spears and Kevin Federline were a married couple with their own five episode reality show called Britney and Kevin Chaotic. Boy, 
as we saw on Chaotic, Britt was completely smitten with backup dancer Kevin, marrying him in a surprise ceremony in 2004. But things fizzled out shortly after, and Britt filed for divorce in 2006. Thankfully, she made an amazing comeback after some rocky years, hashtag 2007, and now she is killing it with her Vegas residency and being an awesome mom to her two boys. Hopefully, Brittany and K-Fed can continue to live lives that aren't so chaotic apart. Moving on, next up is a couple whose relationship was just a little rocky to say the least. It's Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston who starred in a short-lived reality show, Being Bobby Brown, in 2005. The marriage ended shortly after a disastrous reality show that was completely slammed by critics. After refusing to do a second season of the show with Bobby, the show was canceled and Whitney filed for divorce in 2006. Whitney Houston tragically died six years later in 2012 at just 48 years old, and the daughter she shared with Bobby Brown, named Bobby Christina, died just three years later. Next on our list is John and Kate Gosselin, who rose to fame with their reality show that followed their lives raising eight children with TLC's John and Kate Plus Eight. You're not that honest, though. It takes me a while to get that out of you. Like, the real reason, why didn't you do that? Mm, that's the way I am. The reality show caught many moments of tension between the couple over a number of years, and they had been married for 10 years before calling it quits in 2009. A nasty divorce followed, but the reality show continued for several more seasons as the network renamed the show Kate Plus Eight after John quit the show. Next on our list, Linda and Hulk Hogan starred in their own reality series, Hogan Knows Best, from 2005 until 2007. Probably not coincidentally, the couple divorced in 2007. After 20 three years of marriage, Hulk Hogan was allegedly caught having an affair with a woman by his wife Linda. Linda claimed that this was the reason why she filed for divorce from Hulk in 2007. Hmm, maybe Hogan did not know what was best after all. And last but not least on our list, pretty much every cast member of the reality show Real Housewives has gotten a divorce. Seriously, it's so bad that we can't even give them all their own number because there are over 20 of them. There was Yolanda Hadid and David Foster of Beverly Hills, Greg and Nene Leakes of Atlanta, Bethany Frankel, and Jason Hoppy of New York, and of course, the contentious divorce of Camille. And that is just scratching the surface. So maybe Bravo should just call it like it is and rename the show The Real Housewives to The Real Divorces because at this point that's more accurate. So which one of these reality TV divorces shocked you the most at the time? And which ones do you think were inevitable from the moment the cameras were on? Sound off in the comments section below or find me on all the social medias at Rude Unicorns. And then after you're done with that, click over here to check out the celebrity relationships that survived cheating scandals. It's a little happier. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here on Listed and don't forget to subscribe. I'm your host Sarah Whittle and I'll see you next time. For more Listed, click to the left to check out the best TV couples of all time and to the right for celebrity wedding crashers.